All right, how we doing, folks? Let's see here. All right, so I got uh, 31 August. All right, so, man, marks the end of the summer. Probably college has started or starting in a lot of places. Get to close to the end of the summer here real soon. And it's been a hot one this year, everywhere. All right, so speaking of hot, I want to get on a very important subject here about pretty much hell on earth. Okay, Lake, uh, Lake Tahoe out there on Highway 50, okay? Uh, man, it's about, as of right now, about 185,000 acres, you know, burned up. Now, around that area is what they call the Sierra Nevada, okay? A very rough and rugged area, okay? They cut that, that Union Pacific Railroad through that, and also Highway 80 goes through there, and 50, okay? Uh, just south of our 80, if you guys know with that area, uh, familiar with that area. So, and in between there, they call it Truckee uh, Valley, uh, Carson Valley. That's where Carson City is in Northern Nevada. Uh, on the California side, okay, it's pretty much like uh, what east of Sacramento. Okay, so that's like Truckee uh, Valley there, okay. Uh, and that area snows very, very bad. If you're on the 80 and it snows uh, a certain amount, you have to have like either four wheel drive or um, chains on your vehicles. Many trucks are gonna have to ground themselves unless they have chains on their on their tires. That's what I wanted to say. All right, sorry about that. And it is uh, heavy brush out there. That being said, so there's a fire but one thing that I think the news has deceived me with is I'm really starting to hear about this thing, what? Like yesterday evening and uh, from a, a podcast that I, that I listen to uh, to influence my street rap videos on my other channel. I do some tourism stuff there, ladies and gentlemen. And he was talking about it. And again, they brought this this thing up like it's something new. This is like the, I think Fox Bay area, and there's a Reno uh, station up there. Okay, uh, I think like ABC News up in Reno. I don't know the uh, particular you know name of it. It's like KTV or something like that. Okay, uh, but they make it seem like it's new. Just between like yesterday and today, it's something like 14,000 acres been burned. But all of a sudden now, it's like 185,000 acres burned. And it's just to my belief that the news sat on this until this appropriate time or whatever. And now all of a sudden, this thing is larger than life. Okay? I don't know why, why they did that. But I guess, hey, no news is good news and they have to find something to talk about. But anyway, this fire is so rampant, okay, and it's so, I mean, so bad. I'm seeing the, the guys out there, firefighters, well, firefighters are supposed to have it, but they got news reporters, uh, other people that work, that's working as far as in journalism, they're around like gas masks and all that. I mean, it pretty much looks like the sandbox in our in Iraq, like a sandstorm, but except it's with fire. I mean, it looks really, really bad out there. Okay. Uh, and it's about, for what I understand, maybe 50 miles south of, not even that that far, maybe 20 miles or so south of, um, South Lake Tahoe, where there's 20,000 people. All right, there's a couple of casinos out there on, on the Nevada side. There's a few hotels over there on the California side because that lake is split halfway with Nevada on the east and California on the west. I mean, it's getting real close, and they're urging uh, authorities, that is, for those people to evacuate, okay? But, yeah, um, man, this is... Uh, really really bad we so we got that going on then you have the uh, hurricane Ida going on and right now as we speak 
there's uh, more rain and flooding, okay, in Tennessee, and that thing's supposed to be curving up to the northeast, so like around, uh, around like Ohio and Kentucky and all that. All right, so, man, it's a lot of storms uh, going on right now, all right? The D variant, and we're approaching the flu season. People just forget all about that, but I digress, all right? So I just wish Godspeed for the people out there in South uh, Lake Tahoe. All right, that ain't no place that you want to be. Um, they had a lot of people evacuating off Highway 50. So I hope everybody makes it out safe and so we can be less casualty. So they got a lot of, and it's a lot of different uh, fire teams on there. They got people from Modesto, California, Sacramento, Reno, okay, South Lake Tahoe, uh, Carson City, okay, that's in on this to help put this fire out. When I checked last night, it was like maybe 17, 18% uh, contained. So that's going to take a while before they take that, they get that fire out. I'm thinking probably in thinking, I don't know, maybe the middle of next month, okay, being that we're not into September just yet, we'll be there tomorrow. All right, well, that's enough on that. Perhaps I can get an update or I can do one uh, once I get the empirical data I need to get, okay? Probably when I assess things maybe at the, when this, this fire starts to conclude, okay? Uh, how much damage and I don't know, casualties and maybe do a final, like, uh, I don't know, like synops uh, synopsis or assessment. All right, well, thanks for listening, y'all. Stay tuned for the next video. I know this is not good news, but feel free to subscribe, share, and leave your comments. Let me know what's going on out there. If there's anybody that lives in that area or is visiting right now that's uh, listening to this video.